and to hold these corporations accountable for supporting border suppression and white supremacy in all of its forms. Today, several people outside at the governor's mansion speaking out after Governor Kemp signs bills imposing voting restrictions. Meanwhile, Georgia State Representative Park Cannon out of jail, according to her attorney. Representative Cannon was arrested overnight outside of Governor Brian Kemp's office yesterday for refusing to stop knocking on his office doors. It was an apparent protest of the Republican-led election reform bill, which just passed. Today, we're looking into the first lawsuit filed to stop the law from taking effect. Our Haley Mason joining us live outside the state capitol, where protesters are continuing their push back. Haley. Good afternoon, Karen. We are live at Liberty Plaza, where the protests are growing in size now that this bill, this massive voting bill, has been signed into law. The activists here say they are now ready to take their fight to the courtroom. After the near record setting, swift passage and signing of Georgia's new controversial voting bill. For over 10 years, I have led the fight to strengthen protections at the ballot box. The first federal lawsuit was filed shortly after. The New Georgia Project, Black Voters Matter, and Rise, Inc. filing this federal lawsuit asking for injunctive relief, saying the new law violates the Voting Rights Act and the Constitution. It specifically addresses the uh, burdensome and unnecessary requirements uh, that this, uh, this new law places on uh, getting an absentee ballot, on voting early on using drop boxes. Francis Johnson is the chair of the New Georgia Project. We expect for the federal courts to do what the federal courts have often had to do, which is put Georgia in check. The frustration boiling over last night as the bill was signed privately by Governor Kemp. Are you serious? No, you are Representative Park Cannon is arrested by Capitol Police while knocking on Kemp's door to see the signing. Outrage and anger outside the Fulton County Jail overnight as U.S. Senator Raphael Warnock showed up to support Cannon, one of his church members. The people are being locked down and locked out of their own democracy. Yes. But this effort to silence the voices of Georgians who stood up in a historic election in November and January will not Stand. The group say this is the first of many lawsuits on a long road of legal work. We know full well that Georgia uh, has the has a case of the can't get rights, the won't get rights, um, and it needs the federal court to tell it to get right, and that's what we've asked the federal court to do. And lawmakers have left their offices at the state capitol building and joined the protesters that they have done for many weeks now. They call this voting law Jim Crow 2.0. We'll explain why and why President Biden is chiming in all coming up next hour. Reporting live at Liberty Plaza outside the state capitol, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News.